blessed morning once again. Truly, every gising is a blessing. Another great privilege to share my devotion this morning. And as we always do, let's all pray, bow our head and pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Heavenly Father, to your Son, Jesus, we pray, Father God, as we humble ourselves to the Lord, there's no great among us but you alone in our life. We thank you for the another strength for another life you have given unto us as we always do father god truly oh god we ask your guidance oh god and be blessed oh lord even the listeners and me myself only as your mouthpiece we thank you lord we pray in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah are we all excited glory to god my devotion that I would like to share this morning is in the book of Luke chapter 11 verse 9 to 10. Let's all read. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Hallelujah. Blessed is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What I would like to encourage each one of us is keep on praying. Hallelujah. God our Father is inviting us to come with boldness through prayers. God may not be answering our prayer now, but He is already working. Do we all agree on that? Hallelujah. He is the God of already. God our Father wants to bless us and to answer our prayers because our God is the God of how much more? Hallelujah! Glory to God! The power best on this one is we can read it on in Luke chapter 11 verse 11 to 13 it says in verse 11 if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father Will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he or for a fish give him a serpent? Verse 12. Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? Last verse, verse 13. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give Holy Spirit to them that ask Him. Hallelujah. Glory is the Word of God. Hallelujah. If you then being evil, He said, the Word said, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will our Heavenly Father will give us our needs. Hallelujah. If we believe that Jesus invites us to come, with boldness into his presence to give us the grace in time of need, then be readily accept his invitation come to his throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and grace in Christ Jesus through our prayer hallelujah glory to God praying is an amazing invitation from God we can now draw near and enter the throne of grace with confidence. We can come with boldness not for who we are, but for who Jesus is and because of what he has done. Hallelujah. Do you all again with that? Do we all agree? Okay? Amen. The disciples did not ask Jesus to teach them for to perform miracles or to write sermons or to lead, but they asked him to teach them how to pray. Yeah, perhaps they asked for it because they saw the intimacy of Jesus with God the Father in prayer. So let us all pray. Every follower of Jesus must learn and practice praying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The throne is the presence of the King of Kings, where we experience the fullness of His authority and power. That's why Pag po tayo ay nananalangin, nilapit po natin ang ating sarili sa
sa presensya ng Diyos na kung saan po ay nalapit tayo sa throne of grace. Hindi po ito yung throne of judgment. No? Kaya po, uh, I, I already explained last time that the throne of grace is not a judgment but it is a grace that is undeserved favor from God. Hallelujah. We need prayer to empower us in our daily walk to God and to empower us on what He wants us to do. Kaya po, wala po tayong uh, magagawa kung tayo po hiwalay talaga sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. So when we are in God's presence, He speaks. And when He speaks, we will receive the grace of being transformed by God because when He speaks and we respond in obedience, He will change us as become like never before. Did you experience that? Yung pong uh, komisyan eh, napapansin nyo na sa ating sarili, ay hindi na ako ito. Hindi na ako itong dating uh, ginagawa sa bagay nito, ay hindi na natin na uh, dating ginagawa, ay nagagawa na natin dahil sa presensya ng Diyos. No? Magiging mayayain, nawawala pa yung pagiging mayayain, at tayo po ay uh, may kasabikang ibahagi sa iba yung ating pong uh, napakinggang salita ng Diyos. Kaya po, uh, kumisan ay uh, hindi po natin ibibigyan na importansya ang prayer dahil uh, meron pong pagkakataon na tinitingnan natin yung sarili natin kakayahan. Ano po? Tuloy po natin. Many of us miss to listen to God not because God is not speaking or because we don't want to listen. But because we are too busy and preoccupied with too many things. Yan po yung katotohanan. Our daily life will preoccupy us that we have no more time left to spend in prayer. Yan po yung katotohanan. Less prayer lang po ang nangyayari. Kaya we need to slow down and take some time to observe, to observe our activities from people in our community. Pupokus lang minsan po yung ating uh, isip sa bagay-bagay na ating mga nakikita sa ating kapiligiran. No, instead, be alone with God in prayer so we could listen to Him. No, the inner voice of God will talk unto us. Do you believe on that? Hallelujah! God speaks in our hearts and that's the reality. Hallelujah! Let's read Luke 11 verse 1. It happened that while Jesus was praying in a certain place, after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John also taught his disciples. So Jesus taught his disciples the pattern of praying. Yeah, we can look read it on Luke 11, 2 to 4. So God our Father had a personal relationship with God, with Jesus. So we can enter through prayer in the throne of His grace through Jesus Christ. That's why we are living by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Some people do not take this invitation to enter God's presence in prayer because they rely first on what they are able to do. Yan po yung katotohanan. And if they come to the limit and nothing to do by themselves, they come to ask God and beg for help. Yan po yung uh, nangyayari talaga. Minsan, tinitin po natin yung atin munang magagawa at yung last resource ay sa Panginoon na lang. Kaya po, mas dapat natin unahin ang pagtawag sa Diyos. Uh, halip na gawin natin ang bagay na ating magagawa ay uh, unahin natin ang Panginoon humingi tayo ng tulong na uh, kung saan ay God is able to give what we need Amen? Kaya po ang nangyari ay wala na po tayong uh, magagawa sa katayan na lapis sa Panginoon yun po yung nakakalungkot naging uh, second choice na lang ang Panginoon kaya pray more Talk less, pray more, worry less. And we will see how God will perform 
and give what we need and transforms the impossible to men even to show miracles to the people in our life. Kaya po pag ganyan po yung ating uh, pananampalataya, uh, ating uh, devotion sa prayer, ay uh, totoo pong uh, makikita natin yung kapangyarihan ng Pinoy. When we are in God's presence, we receive the blessing of praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, to listen to God's direction in our life, Hallelujah. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah. The God of how much more will give each of us his children to us and respond in all we need and bless us all by his grace. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is the God of how much more and will give each of us what we need. Glory to God. Let's all bow and pray. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful day. And as we listen to your word, you are able, you are able, God, to give what we need. And because you are the God of our almighty God that is able to do beyond what we expect, we thank you for this wonderful day and even for your words that we really are blessed. We thank you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah.